Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Rick Perry. I have a website, rickcperry.com, where I host the Pro Audio Development web blog. <clears throat> so today we're going to clear up a little quick issue people are having with the um, the iPad app for the Personas board. So I'm going to go to my mixers. <clears throat> this is where I have my different mixer apps. So we're going to go to the uh, SL Studio Live Remote. So I don't have a <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have a mixer set up. So we're just gonna do it in demo mode. So we'll just choose a sixteen four two and connect to it. This lets you kind of mess around on the page here. Now here's the the issue people are having on the iPad. If you look when you you're on channel twelve here and you go just to kind of swipe over. See that? So it's like sometimes it, it does work and sometimes it doesn't. Well there let me show you why that happens, okay? If you notice that, you know, your your fader, you're pulling the fader up and down. Okay. So here's what you gotta do. <clears throat> Usually you'll have to get right up here in this area and grab a hold of the channel and uh slide it over. Now that can be aggravating when you're in the middle of mixing something. So let me show you how to get ar around that. So I'm just going to double tap, and I'm going to swipe that out so we close the app down. So go back to my page here. Now, excuse me. Now, the, here's what you need to do. Go to your settings, and you'll see this multitasking gestures. Switch that off. Now we'll just swipe that out of the way. Go back to our mixers. <coughs> go back to our demo mode. So now everything is more fluid and it's like it should be. Um, that way, if you need to go from one side to the other, swiping, especially if you're on a 24 channel, um, this can get a little aggravating. All right, so that's how you fix this. Now you can still have the fader, but also it's more responsive to swiping left or right. So there's the first issue that people have been asking me about. The second issue is uh, getting to the tap tempo. And some people say you can't get to the tap tempo from the iPad app. Well, you can. Go to your aux mixes right here. And you see all your auxes lined up. Now, right across here, when you're actually going to your aux mixes, this swipe feature works here as well. If you don't have the the gestures turned off like I just did, then a lot of times you have to grab it right here in this little top area to slide it back and forth. You can't really slide it back and forth from here as easy. So let's go on back over here to our effects. So I'll put my, let's put our delay here on FXB. So I'm going to do a drop down. Let's do a mono delay. There's your tap tempo now. So you can access your tap tempo from your uh, effects A. If you have a, if you run two different ones, then, whoops, there's your stereo delay, there's your tap tempo. So basically what you're going to do is when you're in, uh, if you're in aux mode, um, hit close. If you're in aux mode, all you have to do, you're mixing your on your layer, go to your aux mixer, go to edit on your effects, and there's your tap tempo. Okay, great. Now, last tip. If you notice down here, all our channels are lined up. It's just channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, in the actual universal control software on the uh, channel strips, you can go down here, double-click on it, and name it, and it actually does change it. And that's fine. Now, everyone who uses QMix will see the changes that you put in here. But now, what if you actually want to change this yourself on the fly? Well... You can go to settings here and see right here this is where you can name them but there's a trick on the studio live you need to go to the setup menu and on the setup when you see your actual iPad on the list of devices you need to highlight the CH rename it says C-H-R-E-N highlight that and then that'll let you come in here and tap this and you can actually name it whatever you want to name it 
Now what's good about that is each person can individually name stuff that they want to. So you can come in here and you can just say, you know, me. And that way, whenever you go to your aux mixer, let's say you go to aux 4, then uh, there's your kick, and then there's one that says me. So that way you can actually tailor and personalize QMix or your iPad app specifically for you. So if you run QMix through the iPad app, and you're not you're not assigning your iPad to front of house, and you actually use your iPad to mix your ears with, then you can name these channels anything that you want. Okay, uh, I think that pretty much uh, does it for the the iPad app for the Personas. Um, get yourself a good router, and that way you can stay connected to it. But uh, for the most part, those are the most commonly asked questions that I get on the Personas iPad app. So I dug through the forum. These answers aren't things that I come up with. They, I actually did find them on the forum. So I suggest that you get on the forums support the forums um, create an account there and be active on the forum because that's the only way you're going to find out these little tricks um, sadly there are no quote unquote help files that come bundled with the software it'd be nice if you launch the software and uh, you were actually able to go in here it would be real nice if they would do uh, like on the settings if somewhere on here you actually had like down at the bottom a help file or a tips and tricks file that'd be great uh, maybe if they did that they wouldn't have so many people on the forum maybe that's they're trying to draw people to the forum I'm not sure but it just seems to me like it'd be really easy to put it right here on this screen you know so anyway thanks for watching if you have any uh, questions or concerns or comments then leave them below and I appreciate you watching